Hi guys, Phil the Genetech here. Um, yeah, let's play Faster Than Light. Uh, you guys have already seen the intro, uh... Let's see, list... Yeah, see? I do have every ship except the Crystal Cruiser. That's what's there. Oh, god, forget. There we go. Okay, and we'll go through each ship on easy, by the way. Yeah. I'm... Yeah. So, um, this is the Kestrel. What did it do? Yeah, the other version is the Red Tail. Uh, the Kestrel is the very first ship you get. That's, yeah, the basic ship. Uh, here's the story of the game, pretty much. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. Uh, they're the good guys. The Rebels are the bad guys in this one. Uh, you'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up. Tip, blah blah blah. We'll be turning that on, by the way. That's the auto fire, so we automatically shoot. And here's our crew. We have Philip, John, and Sambo. John, you shall man the shields. Sambo, the weapons room. Purely because you were second on the list, and Sambo was third. Okay, uh, power up the burst laser. And we'll just jump. You guys will get... Ooh, distress. Hello. See, you arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. You know what? They're just pirates. We'll kill them. Oh, crap! You decide the pirate is not worth saving and fire a few volleys into their hull. Before you can scrap their mains, another pirate ship flashes on your radar. Perhaps they saw your dead... Your deed, my bad. Or perhaps they want to claim the spoils for themselves, but for whatever reason, they are charging weapons. Mmm, delicious water. And move the microphone so it doesn't hit me in the face again. Continue. Combat! This will fire... I think three shots? Yeah. So we're going to hit the shields first. They'll get in shots first, because they charge faster. Their shields are down, mine are not. My ship's on fire! Great. Fire happens aboard the Kestrel and every other ship. I want that fire to go out. Oh, let's see. The day is yours! Show us your honor by allowing us to sleep with our lives. Yeah, no, we're gonna kill him. <laughs> we're going to be doing that a lot in this game. We... the goal of this game is to be heartless, pretty much. So, uh, the button over down here is closing doors. This one opens every door on the ship. Uh, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. I got a missile, a drone part, and 21 scrap. Okay. There's... No, not the door. You. Fix that room. It has oxygen again. Okay. Up here in the upper left is our hull. Once this gets down to nothing, we die. Uh, here's how much fuel we have, how many missiles, how many drones. You consume one drone... Yeah, it says right there. Every time you use one, it consumes one. Here's the scrap we have, which is money. Our evasion is here. The amount of oxygen on the ship is there. Very important. And we shall jump... Oh, a store already? I don't have enough cash. We'll try some nebula first. Oh, balls. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, what systems are active? Uh, this right here? Yeah. It means we have half power. This right here is how much power we have. I'll power down everything for the moment. So yeah, we only have four power. Um, I think we won't really need oxygen for the. We need the burst laser. We just need it. Their shields are completely down. I will raise shields and not put anything into oxygen. So... Intruders? Balls! You get in there, kill him. Okay, we have intruders. Crap. Okay, their weapons can't pierce my shields. You get back to the shield room. Balls. Okay. As long as they don't power up that second uh, cannon. I will not accept surrender. You boarded me. I'm going to murder you. 
I should have enough oxygen to do this. Yep. Okay. Power that down. Power up the oxygen. And the med bay. Because that guy needs to heal up. So anyways, yeah, down here is how the ship's power is allocated. This is shields. This is the engines. Uh, the oxygen and life support. Med bay. And weapons. You decide weapons individually. Here. Eventually, when we get uh, drones, they'll be over here, and you power them up the same way. This is steering, cameras, and doors. Uh, right now, the doors really only keep the atmosphere in. So power up the shield, or er, not shields, power up the things we can jump out of here. Uh, Nebula slows down the incoming rebel fleet. So, yeah. Okay, it's an automated one. Get rid of that and that. Power up the burst laser and attack their weapons. This drone cannot pierce shields because it has a beam weapon. And it's a weak beam weapon. Uh, that missile, however, always goes through shields. Okay. Let's see. Attack the drone spot next. Because then I can power down my shields and put that into other stuff. Okay. Powering down shields. Powering up oxygen. Yeah. And that. So this guy can heal up. Now I'm going to have the burst laser focused on his shields? Yes. Okay, you get back there. That powers down. Engines power up. Okay, he's dead at this point. All he can do is dodge. Uh, the automated ships, uh, they repair themselves very slowly. Sweet. And there's another store. Let's visit one of the stores. Uh, vessels... Oh, a group of mysterious alien vessels, blah blah blah, want to buy anything. Ooh, uh, we have 90. Ooh, we could fix, don't want to fix. We'll go over the drone control, that's more important. Potent? Important. And we will actually, where is it? This room is now my drones. Hmm, we will not power up the systems yet. Yes, we will. Okay, that used up one of our drones. He's on our ship for ever now, basically, but we can power him up and down. And he will automatically seek out damaged rooms and repair them, which means I don't have to even think about assigning people to it. That is extremely useful. And we want to get into that nebula again real fast so we can check out what's in the next door. Oh, pfft. Uh, let's defend, er... Blah. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Intervene to defend the outpost. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moved in, moves in to engage your ship. Target the weapons. The shields will go down later. Right now, I want to get through the weapons. This won't pierce my shield. That, however, teleports a bomb through them. I think it does, anyways. I think we powered it down in the nick of time. Yeah, we seem to live. Do it? Yeah. Needs to be good, yeah. Whatever. Okay, now we'll target its uh, steering, or whatever it's called. What is that called? Steering? Piloting. Whatever. We're targeting that so that it can't dodge. There we go. Yeah, this thing's in the bag. Uh, let's see. We've got one. We're doing actually pretty well. I, I do want to get a second layer of shielding up. As soon as possible. Yay! Fuel and scraps! We shall go here first. Then we will go to another spot inside the nebula. Oh, balls. A black market weapon trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing his wares. We attack him. One of the things that you really have to do in this game is be a complete jerk to everyone. I mean, you just have to do it. It's how you get the scrap you need 
to get the stuff you need to beat the game. There we go. His weapon's powered down. He's pretty much toast. Actually, let's target steering in case he tries to jump after this. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll keep on the shields. Yep, they're dead. Blah, blah, blah. You get more scrap if you can finish the battle without destroying the ship. But, oh, son of a biscuit. You jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Let's manually search. Among the jump, the junk and scrap, you find a salvageable drone schematic. You decide to quit while you're ahead and prepare to jump with your recent find. A hull repair drone. Oh. This is an interesting drone. I'll go to the ship menu real quick. These are the upgrades. It's how we improve the Kestrel. Here's our crew. Here's the equipment. The hull repair. Automatically repairs 3 to 5 damage to your hull. Drone part is consumed once it finishes. That's very useful. I never buy them, but it's useful to have. Uh, that could have worked out badly in two ways. By having one of the ships be a pirate ship and having us search activate it. Or we could have just lost crew members somehow. Transmission from the nearby planet indicates outpost, blah blah blah, welcome to the store. Um, we don't have enough for this, which is more important than the teleporter. Ooh, scrap recovery arm gets us 10% 10 more stuff. Perfect. Sell. I don't want to sell this. This might be useful. Ah, uh, so ship. We just improved our shields. That doesn't help yet, but it will help later. Moving to the next point. Uh, nothing remarkable. We'll jump ahead one more and then we'll leave the sector. Ooh, Rebel ship hails you. Federation scum! We've waited a long time for this. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait. Oh. Dirk! This is an attack drone. Let's see. I want to get rid of that missile first. Yeah, this thing isn't going to get through the shield, but it's going to keep downing it. Okay, that's not an important system, and the repair drone will target it anyways. Burst laser to the drone room. Drone control room. Whatever. I forgot to turn the oxygen back on. <laughs> that could have gone very badly. Okay, now that they have no weapons... Actually, this ship is pretty likely to jump. So let's take out piloting. And then we'll get those shields down. Son of a... It hit the shields, which is important. Luckily, I've got that one extra thing in shields, which is what it took out. They're already starting to repair the drone room. Son of a... You hit my oxygen! I'm really glad I remembered to turn it on, but this... Drone, move your little wheel faster. Ship explodes. We get stuff. Um, ship, shield, accept. Uh, let's see. If I turn the systems repair drone off, I'll at least wait for it to get into the room, and then I'll turn it off. That'll give me enough power to run that second shield. Okay. See, he let his arms in, and he's asleep. Yeah, we want to exit. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing happened. Great. Next sector. Ah, uh, Great. Pirate or Mantis? I'm going to go to the Mantis because hostile sectors are in red, and we have more chances of getting into battle in these, which means more chances to get stuff. You've entered poorly 
charted area of space is known to be home to the Mantis. Take a drink. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. We do need more fuel. Next shop, we're getting fuel. Ooh, aid the civilian ship. It's being chased by Mantis. You frown. Power up the weapons and prepare to engage the Mantis ship. Not today! Get rid of the missile launcher. With the second shield, this won't even get our shields completely down. So we need... I can attack doors. Oh, they can't attack anything now. <laughs> Balls! Quit powering up systems I've shut down. We're going to fire a missile. The Artemis was with a yeah is very weak, and it missed completely, showing us how useless it is. Great. There we go. We destroyed them without using it. Hey, the ship you saved was badly damaged in the battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer to be dropped off at a nearby station. One offers to join your crew. The survivor gets on board the ship. It's another human. There's a uh, couple different races in this. Uh, Slug, Mantis, Rock, and Zoltan. Along with Human, that makes five. So, uh... Oh, NG is another one. And very rarely you can come across the crystals. People, things, whatever. So, um... Let's see. Well, actually, power. No, not you! Damn it! I'm trying not to swear. <sighs> Whatever. We'll just jump to the... Ooh, store. Please don't have awesome things. Drone recovery arm. That's awesome. I will sell this hull repair droid, which is expensive. No. No, I won't. I will sell the Artemis... The crappy Artemis missile. And buy the drone recovery arm. I really should be getting a weapon as well. And fuel. Okay, now... Let's try this out. Okay, um... Let's get oxygen. That's better. Let's see if the hull repair thing gets used up. I think it still gets used. Well, anyways, normally what that would do is it would let us use drones without using up uh, the drone parts. I think the hull repair is a different matter completely. Now. So, yeah. Oh! You find the source of the distress call. A small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. The fire suppression system is not responding. We could send our crew in a shuttle to help out in the fire, dock and try to rescue survivors, leave and let them die, or we get the blue option, which is always better. Send the repair drone into the fire, so that we don't have to die there. You send the repair drone in, and it methodically puts out the fires. Once it has made some progress, the rest of your crew helps secure the station. They offer you their sincere gratitude. The station would have surely been destroyed without your assistance. They transfer a small reward and a and an additional drone schematic, the Anti-Ship Drone Mark I. This is what we got the drone recovery arm for. We switched drones, and now we have a new weapon. So, yes, the Anti-Ship Drone won't go through shields like the missile did, but it's still good. So we now also upgraded the generator, power bars, whatever, reactor, so we can power up the system's repair drone without turning off the oxygen. Ah, the sh the 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 Um. Always time for shopping. Okay. Um. This way. Another weapon would have been awesome, but I didn't have the cash. Ah. 
You detect and retrieve an escape pod floating nearby. You consider returning it to space when you learn it's mantis. Jettison the pod! That thing will kill us all! You jettison the pod because you're not an idiot.